Picture this, it's the 1930s. Cars are new, drinking is not, and no one knows how to tell if someone's actually drunk to drive until one man decides to solve the problem. In the early days of cars, drunk driving wasn't illegal at first because no one could prove how drunk you actually were. Police basically used the walk a straight line test or sniffed your breath and guessed. That worked about as well as you'd expect. The first breath test idea. Enter Dr. Rolla Harger, a biochemist from Indiana. In 1931, he invented the Drunkometer, the first real attempt to measure alcohol on someone's breath. It looked like a science fair volume. Volcano. You blew into a balloon and the air was pumped into a chemical solution. If the liquid changed color, congrats, you were officially drunk. Later, in 1954, Robert Borkenstein, a police officer and inventor, improved the drunkometer and created the first real breathalyzer. It was portable, reliable, and finally gave cops a way to quantify drunkness instead of guessing. The breathalyzer brought science into law enforcement, making DUI cases harder to argue in court. Today, the breathalyzer is a standard tool worldwide. It saved millions of lives by making it easier to catch drunk drivers before they cause accidents. And it all started with a biochemist and a weird chemical reaction in a lab. Like, sub, and don't forget to hit that bell.